Honorable Linda Tapuya, Minister for Women, Children, and Social Protection, Guest of Honor, Department of Foreign Affairs from the Mini Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Representatives of the South Pacific Community, Director for Criminal Investigation Department, Head of Sexual Offenses Unit, Acting Director, Public Prosecution, Representatives of the Office of People with Disabilities, Trustees of Fiji Women Crisis Center, Shamima Ali, Fiji Women Crisis Center Coordinator, Fiji Women Crisis Center staff and friends, fellow Pacific, fellow Pacific Island countries, women and participants of the 44th Regional Training Program. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here representing the Melanesian region from the beautiful island countries of Vanuatu, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and Papua. Hello, welcome. Hamamas long looking you. Hello, all kepa. Foy. Bula vinaka. Good afternoon, everyone. As we gathered here tonight, let us take a moment of silence in honor of the women who have fought against the violence against women and girls, and also for the women who have lost their lives. Please. Let's all rise and take a minute of silence. Thank you. Please have your seat. I am honored to represent our fellow participants tonight as we gathered here on the closing ceremony and the graduation of the 44th participants of the 44th Regional Training Program. We are privileged to be part of this prestigious program, which has provided us with transformative four-week journey of self-awareness, gender synthesization, knowledge, and skills. Globally, one in three women experiences violence in their lifetime. In the Pacific, the statistics is even more alarming. Two in three women experience some form of violence in their lifetime. And these statistics are not just numbers. They represent our mothers, our sisters, our wives, and even our daughters. For instance, in Papua New Guinea, over 400 cases of sorcery have been reported, with 40% leading to violence. In 2023, the Vanuatu Women's Center reported 7,548 new and repeat survivors accessing their services. The Family Support Center in the Solomon Islands recorded 70 cases of domestic violence from January to August this year. In Papua, Sapokasi reported that 60% of women are survivors of gender-based violence out of 892 cases reported. These figures highlight that despite significant efforts to prevent and respond to violence against women, it remains, it remains a persuasive issue. Therefore, our work as crisis service providers must continue with unwavering commitment. Some, organize, some organizations have been at this fight for over two decades, while others have recently joined the struggle to eliminate violence against women and girls. We honor the achievements of those who have made significant contributions, including those who have fought effortlessly and those who have tragically lost their lives due to gender-based violence. We take pride in the enduring efforts of women like Shamima Ali from the Fiji Women Crisis Center and her organizations. 
Marilyn Tahi from the Crisis Center in Vanuatu. With its six branches and 38 cover com committees. Mary Kinney from the Highlands of Papua New Guinea. The Highlands Women Rights Movement, the Family Support Center and others in the Solomon Islands who are products of the regional training program over the years. We also acknowledge our national governments for recognizing women's rights in the policies. However, there are challenges that keep persist in terms of sustainable long-term funding, institutional capacity, passion and leadership, data and research, strong patriarchal systems, access to justice. But despite of all that, this training reinforced the passion with each and one of us. And I, and I believe that all of us, the participants, can testify that we are empowered after the training. And so, and, and moreover, we are here to strengthening the Pacific Regional Network and enhancing our collaborative efforts. Also, continue commitment from us, our partners and stakeholders and increased advocacy and training across the region. Securing long-term sustainable funding. As the African proverb says it, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go further, sorry, if you want to go far, go together. And that's what we are here for. United we stand, divided we fall. In solidarity, we move together. Vinaka Vakalevu. <laughs>